Hello there and welcome to Foggy Creations. Today we're going to be upgrading a 3D printed street barrier that I'm going to be using for toy photography. I'm going to be inserting some steel rods and using some chicken fence wire along with some discarded pieces of tarp. I hope I spark some inspiration for you today. Let's get to it. So first we're going to melt some holes into the top of the street barrier in order to allow the steel rod to go about an inch deep. That's what she said. <laughs> For this, I used a hot knife tool. The long skinny bit that came with it worked perfectly. First try. So now that I got the steel rods in place, it's time to move on to the tarp and fencing part. For this, I used chicken fence wire and an old discarded tarp. So in this section, I'm basically just eyeballing where I'm going to be making my cuts using some snips. Decided to make this project in order to cover up some uh, glare that you can see in the background and to dress up my shots a little bit more with something that looks more tangible and real. I had some of these parts just laying around and decided to throw them together and see what I can make. After you have your fence cut out, now's a good time to just cut the tarp down to size. You just place the fence on top of the tarp, trim up the excess around it, and you're good to go. So whenever you find extra pieces laying around your house from different projects or even just things that you're about to recycle, it's always good to give it a second look to see if you can uh, get some use out of it. Now that we have all of our pieces cut out, we want to start attaching them. So for this, we're going to be using some 28 gauge master wire. I fish it through the fence and then give it a twist tie motion in order to secure it to the pole. Now I want it to be secure to the pole, but I also want to be able to take the poles out in order to change the fence from one design to another. So after I got it where I like it, I use the snips to cut off the excess and start again at the bottom. When you anchor the top left and the bottom right, or vice versa, um, it'll help stabilize the fence where you need it in order to get the next two twist in. For this one, since it's so long, I decided to go with uh, one in the middle as well. Make sure it's nice and secure. Along with your fingers, you can also use needle nose pliers in order to get it um, extra tight, especially on the bottom. That's one fence down. Now to add the tarp. But first, we want to make it look a little used and abused and left out in the rain. So we're gonna use a wire brush in order to scratch it up, um, bring down some of the shine and loosen up some of the threads within the tarp. I also got a little creative here and decided to use the fence that I had left over and rubbed it against there. And I gave it a nice hard pressed roll up in my hand using the heat from my hand as well as the friction from rolling it up in order to give it a really worn out, wrinkled look. I then use an X-Acto knife to thread the bottom a little bit to make it look like it's starting to uh, fray out a little bit. I then use that X-Acto knife to poke some holes where I'm going to thread the 28 gauge wire through. Use some needle nose pliers to stretch those holes out to make it look like it's been hanging for a while. Now I'm just going to line it up to where I would like it to be, giving a little bit of a gap at the bottom so I can have light shine through it. I then just attach it with the 28 gauge wire, giving it the same twisting motion that I use to secure the fence to the poles. What I've noticed from doing this method is that I can't take the tarp off. On my second street barrier upgrade, what I decided to do was to make little hooks in the tarp that I could hang it on the fence. So I can take it on and off and change the look of the fence without having to take the whole thing apart. But this one will work for what I needed to do. So I just decided to leave it. Here's a quick size comparison using Grog and his new magical wand. So here's another size comparison using Teenage Group. This was a uh, quick and fun, interesting build. Highly recommend it. Enjoy the slideshow with it in use. Hope you have a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.